Today we're going to take a look at the 2022 Honda Monkey 125. We'll talk about what Honda changed for this year, its specs and features, and where it fits into Honda's current Mini Moto model lineup. Plus we'll start it up and show you what this little sewing machine sounds like and a lot more. But first, if you guys find any info in this video helpful, please take a second and hit the like button. Liking the video and commenting below really helps with growing this channel through YouTube's algorithm and I really appreciate the help. So first up, where does the Monkey fit in Honda's current 125cc mini bike lineup that they've dubbed their Mini Moto models? We'll start with the cheapest and that's the Grom at $33.99 unless you opt for the ABS model and then it bumps you up to $35.99 while the rest of them all come standard with ABS. Next up is the Super Cup at $37.49, followed up by the Trail 125 at $38.99, and then your final option is this monkey we're looking at today, which comes in at $41.99. The largest difference, aside from styling and functionality between them, comes down to their drivetrain, as the monkey and Grom have a clutch, whereas the Cub and Trail both have semi-automatic setups without a clutch. I want to take a quick second and say thank you to Southern Honda Power Sports for opening their doors to me and allowing me to come pick through their inventory for these videos. They are a massive Honda Power Sports dealer here in Chattanooga, Tennessee with tons of inventory from new Hondas to used Harleys and everything in between that they sell to people from all over the USA. So check out the link in the description below and head over to their website to see if they can save you some money on your next toy. And now that we've got that out of the way, let's jump into some more info on this monkey. This is a 2022 model year that we're looking at today and its MSRP comes in at $41.99. Now how about options? That's one of the things Honda changed for this year that we'll be covering in this video as Honda removed the option of choosing between standard brakes or their anti-lock braking system, effectively raising the price of entry from $39.99 to $41.99, but thankfully there was no price increase as the ABS model is priced the same as last year. Now when it comes to color options, we only have two here in the States, and they are Banana Yellow, which ties perfectly into the monkey's name, and then you have this Pearl Black, whereas other corners of the world also get Pearl Nebula Red thrown in there too. And next up, let's jump into the chassis and suspension. The Monkey Steel Backbone Frame has, in Honda's words, been tuned for a suitable balance between rigidity and supple feel to try to make sure this bike feels compliant in the many different situations that people will put these in. Oval and cross section, the swing arm ties into the circular design seam that runs throughout the bike as well. Your curb weight comes in at 231 pounds, whereas last year's ABS model came in at 236, while the seat height dropped from 30.6 inches to 30.5 for this year, and its ground clearance was bumped up from 6.3 inches to 6.9. The wheelbase also shrinks this year from 46.5 inches to 45, which will help make it even more nimble while the 25 degree rake and 82 millimeter trail stay the same, which help give this thing a 6.2 foot turning radius. And up front for suspension, you have 31 millimeter inverted forks that are finished with Alumite. They bring in 3.9 inches of travel and you have no adjustability. While on the rear suspension, we see some new changes. The dual rear shocks now feature two-stage springs and revised damper rubbers to help improve ride quality on bumpy roads and reduce bottoming out, which was a common complaint among us larger Americans. One of the best areas you can spend money on though, if you like to modify things, is their suspension. Bringing in some adjustability is nice so you can really fine tune it for your weight and the style of riding you'll be doing, whether it be mobbing the streets with your monkey or just heading out for a leisurely cruise. Now when it comes to brakes, you have a single 220mm disc brake up front with a two piston caliper, while in the rear you have a single piston caliper on a 190mm rotor. And helping those brakes slow you down is Honda's single channel ABS system that operates with an IMU to help mitigate rear lift under strong braking. And those brakes are slowing down a set of 12 inch wheels that are wrapped with fat 130x80 and 120x80 block tires to help tie in some of the monkey's heritage. Next up, let's get into the engine and drivetrain. It has a new 123.9cc air-cooled 80-degree single-cylinder four-stroke engine with a single overhead cam and two-valve design that now has a replaceable oil filter unlike the previous generation. Its bore and stroke has been changed as well as the compression ratio received a nice bump too. 
Now brace yourselves, this new engine is pumping out a whopping 9.25 horsepower at 6750 RPM while its peak torque of 8.1 foot-pounds comes in at 5500 RPM. And helping you put all that power to the ground is its new 5-speed transmission replacing the old 4-speed. With this new setup, they've widened the gear ratio and it also has a 37-tooth sprocket in the rear compared to the 34 it had previously. The Honda doesn't really advertise fuel consumption here in the States, but if you take their numbers and do some conversions, it puts this little fuel injected guy coming in around the 156 mile per gallon mark. And pair that up with a 1.5 gallon fuel tank and you're looking at over 200 miles between fill ups. Also, if you'd like to see what this new engine and transmission are capable of, check out my new 2022 Grom videos as they share the same platform. And thankfully, even with all of the changes to the drivetrain on this bike, it's still incredibly easy to maintain and it won't break the bank, as you can see here from the maintenance schedule in the owner's manual. Now let's bounce around the monkey and touch on a few different things. You have LED lighting all the way around and chrome accents all over to really remind you where the monkey is taking its styling accents from with Honda's classic models that really paved the way for this little thing. Like with the chrome steel front and rear fenders and even more little pieces here and there. My favorite has to be the retro Honda logo on the tank though and they even carried that over to the keys too. You also have the classic circular gauge setup that houses an LCD display, albeit limited on what it actually shows you as you've only got your speedometer, odometer, trip meter, and fuel level with your usual dummy lights. You also get one of the most comfortable and plush seats out of any new Honda for sale today. Now how about storage? Sadly, you don't really have any, but you do have a cargo rack option from Honda and a few aftermarket options too to help you carry some stuff around. And speaking of aftermarket goodies, if you like to modify things, then your options are endless as people are customizing these bikes like nothing before. But now let's start it up and show you guys what this animal sounds like and then we'll come back for a few more things. And that's the 2022 Honda Monkey. In my opinion, these mini motorbikes offer some of the most fun you can have on two wheels. I bought my first Grom, which is very similar to the Monkey, in 2013, and everyone told me I was crazy. I swore up and down these would become hot little machines, but 9 out of 10 people just rolled their eyes and laughed. For me, it brought back the fun of riding. It removed the mindset of wanting to go faster and faster or trying to find something quote unquote better. It reminded me why we all get into this hobby and that's to have fun. There's no denying these things will put a massive smile on your face and if you're lucky enough to have some friends with them, I guarantee you'll opt to take out these mini bikes over your big bikes the majority of the time. There are so many places that you can take these things that you can't go on big bikes. You can turn parking lots into racetracks and if you drop it, you're not sacrificing this month's salary just to fix it. If traffic is bad, take that open sidewalk and giggle to yourself the entire time. In all seriousness though, are these small bikes for everyone? No. But more and more people are starting to realize how much fun these can be and I'm all for it. So thank you Honda for making me realize I don't have to hop on my CBR and raise hell to have fun by deciding to bring the Grom to the USA which then snowballed into all these new mini moto models like the Monkey, Trail, and Cub. Long story short though, before I ramble on even more, if you haven't had a chance to take one of these mini moto models for a spin, just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. You'll probably have more fun than you ever expected. But that's a wrap for this video guys. I hope you learned something and if you'd like more info on the monkey that I wasn't able to include in this video due to time constraints, check out the links below over to hondaprokevin.com. But that's it for this one. Thanks again for watching and for all the support lately. I really appreciate it guys and we'll see you in the next one.